The macro options are on the tools menu in LibreOffice, but the option to record a macro isn't there to begin with when you first install LibreOffice. So what you need to do is go to options at the bottom of the tools menu and you need to select advanced on the left hand side and then at the bottom there's this tick box to enable macro recording and once you do that if you go back to the tools menu then you've got the option to record the macro so once you select that the uh, LibreOffice macro recorder starts to record uh, your actions it doesn't matter how long you take to do them because it uh, cuts out the time between the steps it only records what you actually do uh, you get this pop-up button uh, that says stop recording so what you do is you do the steps that you want to record so in this case I'm going to delete uh, the number of liters and the amount tendered and then think about um, getting ready for the next step so I'm going to click uh, in that box there ready to enter the next number of liters and that's me done so I'm just going to click on um, stop recording so um, LibreOffice is different from Microsoft Office in that you get a choice of recording your macros and storing them either centrally or in the file um, if you want to send them to other people or obviously in your case submit your file what you need to do is save them in the file otherwise the macro won't go with the file when you send it um, so right it is a bit of a faff compared with Excel so what you need to do is you need to select the file at the bottom so uh, POS is the name of my file which you can see from the top of the window there and um, so we need to select uh, where it says standard underneath and we do need to uh, click on this button here that says new module and then we click on OK and then we select that and then we type in the name of the macro so I'm going to call it next customer so I'm not going to use any spaces so you can use things like underscores or you can use capital letters to uh, separate words and then I'm going to click save and now if we go back to tools and organize macros we should see um, that the next customer macro is there but if we go through there to run it and um, which we can do that's probably uh, going to take longer than actually just deleting those values ourselves so what we want to do is we want to add a button to the screen so we can click the button and run the macro and clear those values so what we need is the form controls toolbar which again doesn't appear by default but we can get it to appear by going to view and toolbars and ticking form controls and that gives us this toolbar here with various uh, controls that we can add to the um, LibreOffice page so this one uh, just above halfway uh, that says OK on it is the the button button as it were so if I select that I can then draw on a button and again unlike um, Microsoft Office it doesn't ask me what I want that button to do so if I want to get the button to run that um, macro what I need to do is click the right mouse button and then I need to go to control and then I need to go to events so these are things that can trigger the macro so various different things so you can get macros to trigger just when you move the mouse over things but probably uh, you want to get this to run when the mouse button is pressed so you follow the line over click on the, the button with the three dots on and then you click uh, macro at the top there and then you find the macro that we just saved so we go down to the file then standard then module one select module one click on next customer so it's basically the same process but a lot more steps than uh, Excel and now we click on OK and we close that now um, the other difference between Excel and LibreOffice is that we've got this button at the top right of the toolbar that turns or toggles between design mode and the mode where you can actually operate the button so at the moment this button isn't going to do anything when I click it um, because we're in design mode so if I click this top right button notice that the handles disappear and now if I type in some numbers uh, so I'll put in an amount tendered as well and click the button then hopefully what we should see is those values disappearing it's also slightly more difficult to change the text on the button so again what we need to do is we need to make sure we're in design mode and we need to click, click the right mouse button 
and go to control and this time we're on the general tab and we're looking at the label so the label is what it says uh, on the button so I'm going to type in next customer and close that and there that's what it says on the button now next customer uh, I'll click the top right, right 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 mouse button to turn off design mode and now we're finished with the uh, toolbar so if I close that um, that'll hide that and tidy things up a bit now so now I've got my button it says next customer and when I click on it it'll delete the number of liters and the amount tendered